Well, it's that time of year to start your petunia seeds. If you want those big full baskets when spring gets here, close to Mother's Day, today we're gonna take you through the best methods to start them. What you gotta have is a 1020 tray with perforated holes in the bottom, and you need a solid one that'll hold the water. So you stack them in top of each other like this. Now you need a seed starting mix. I use Pro Mix, the BMX series. You get, run your hands through it, kind of sift it through your fingers a little bit, get it uh, broke up best you can, and get them down into your trays and just get it leveled out. Now, at this point, you will need to get this good and wet before you put your seeds in. So that's why we use the bottom tray. We're gonna bottom water this. So we will put warm water in the bottom and let it wick up from the top. Uh, it'll take 30, 40 minutes for this process to take place but it is the best way than trying to, to water over the top of it. Now, we're going to bottom water. We're just going to pour the water. And remember, this is warm water that's going in. We're going to let it bottom water and it just wicks weak, it up from the bottom. And you may have to do this twice until it is completely saturated. All right, while that's going on, we've got the heating mat is on and it's set to 90 degrees and we have our light on. All right, so here, Here's what your soil looks like when it's all nice and hydrated. Um, it took a little longer than I thought it would, but we wanted to wait till the soil come up to, to temp. All right, now we got two different seeds here, or uh, two different styles of seeds. These seeds right here are the ones that we saved. Um, I did a, a short on that on how to save it. You can go back and look at that, but you look at how small those seeds are these are petunia seeds. You can see they're a little bit bigger. These have been palletized, so they roll them in a coating so you can see them. So there's uh, two different type, styles of seeds that you do with, whether you save them or you order them. All right. What we have found is when they're like this, when we save them, um, the best thing to do is just kind of sew them over the top and when you have seed like this that you've ordered, it's palletized, you can take and put just a little row down through here and try to drop each one of them in it. Um, petunias can be a little bit thick um, because their roots really don't get all tangled up when they're young. They're easy to separate is what I'm saying. So um, what we're gonna do we're just going to take these and we're just going to start sewing them all along the top here. And these seeds are very tiny. And then we'll just take this whole tray them all together here and we will just sow this whole tray with these seeds and you want to lightly pat them down just make sure they make good contact with the soil okay the last thing that I will do to this is I will take a uh, handful of the Pro Mix and I will lightly cover the top of it. Um, I have seen 
people do this and have read that petunias need light to germinate. And I have tried just putting the seed down and not cover them. And I got very poor germination. And the ones that I covered very lightly, I had a very good germination rate. So that's what we do. You can try it both ways and see what works for you. So once we get them um, sewed in and covered, the next thing you need to do is make sure you put a label in it so that you know that these are uh, pink wave petunias. And these are the actual flowers that are in the pots along the fence, fence line of, of our garden. If you've seen that video where we doing a garden tour, you can actually see what these look like. And I'll try to put a picture up and then I'll put a link in the description to that one so you can go back and actually see what these are. All right, so at this point, once we're done, we get it covered and we get it labeled, we go back to the grow rack. All right, so we got both trays planted and we just come back and put a light sprinkle of the Pro Mix over the top and pat it down. Now I've done got all that done. Um, and make sure you put your tag in. And I always write the date that we did it. And so we know what is what. And that is blue. Actually, <laughs> make sure you get them right. This is blue and all this is the pink. So put your domes on. This helps hold the moisture in. These domes will stay on right up till you get good germination. The light stays on 24 seven. The heating mat is set to 90 degrees. The thermometer's in, it's gonna keep the soil temp regulated. And at this point, you just wait. It'll take seven to 10, sometimes 14 days for all this to germinate. And that's when we'll check back in. Now the last thing we do in this grow rack is that we will take the cover and we'll roll the cover down. That just helps keep, help keeps heat in, keeps the moisture. Um, everything that you need at that point will be, uh, to this point you're done. It's just waiting to see uh, how good a germination rate we go uh, that we get. And you just keep moving forward. So we'll check back in in seven to 14 days and see where we're at. All right, it's been eight days since we planted these and we have germination. You can see all the little petunias coming up. So they will stay in this for the next several months. Uh, when they start getting much bigger, then we'll start transplanting them out and they'll go into the greenhouse. But for right now, they'll start, they'll stay right here where they're at. And in this other one, it has quite a bit of germination in it too. Um, but it looks like there's a lot more coming on, so I'm gonna leave the top on this one. The top will come off of this one now at this point. So you can see it doesn't take too long for them to germinate and come up. As long as you keep them on bottom heat and uh, get them bottom watered, they'll come on and germinate. That's gonna do it for this one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this video uh, edited and put up uh, cause now's the time in December to be planting your uh, petunias because you want them in full bloom, generally a week before Mother's Day. That's usually the target point for uh, for us on petunias. So uh, if you like this video, I say hit that thumbs up button and uh, hit that subscribe button, help us grow the channel. And always guys, if you grow it, you know it.